Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, not condemned, uh, commended. Yeah. <laughs> commended. <laughs> commended. I was, I was like, I was like, I looked up to, uh, to, uh what's, uh, what's name called? Oh, yeah, we good, we good. Yeah, we good. Our sound is on, bro. It started. Yeah, it hit, it hit verse one, bro. Ahud, Ahud, Precept one. Tomorrow, I'm off. Walk with Sean. Come on, this is Ephesians one. <clears throat> Ephesians six, verse one. It says, "Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is your right." Uh, <clears throat> quick. Uh, can you go to uh? Of course, when you go to parents, uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1, when you go to parents, you go to Blue Letter Bible. And when you go to Blue Letter Bible, it, it doesn't really give you much, but, you know, fathers, parents, the parents. But, of course, with spiritual men, you know, the scripture is always talking about what? It's all about spirituality. So, now, what you do, you can type in parents, uh, etymology, or animalline.com, you know, type in. Type in parents, and when you look at parents, you go all the way down to now, and it says 15th century, late 12th century surname, Old French Quran. It says father, parent, relative, kin. Now, when you go all the way down, it says to bring forth, it says the gain to replace native elder. But when you the further down you go, you <coughs> look up the word parents in etymoline.com, uh, you find the word elder. Right, right, right. Uh, because look, do you apply that in today's uh, terminology? You know, like the brother says, an elder. You know, we looking at. You know, we here at GMS, we believe that Great Millstone are the men of the Lord coming back from the old times and uh, being reestablished on the earth uh, today. And uh, you have different churches, you have different camps. You know, you got when you read the prologue of, of uh, Ephesians. All right, it's a. Uh, it's a debate between the scholars on whether or not it's directly to the Ephesians or whether or to the Church of Asia Minor, but you know, given to the Ephesians because the, the Ephesians were the top church, and this is a it's a, a, a message to all the camps you would say today, or you would say all the churches back then, which today your camps are your, your churches. All right, so you have. Within every church, you got the Dallas camp, with the Dallas church, if you will. You got the uh, 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 San Francisco church. You got the Chicago church. All right. You got uh, uh, the D.C. church. You got the New York church, yep. if you will. And, and throughout all those churches, what do you have? You have elders. All right. You have spiritual parents in those churches. All right. So you have to apply that. If you're watching the video, you, 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 you have to apply that. In today's uh, terminology, so when you come in the camp, the scripture says what? Uh, what did it say? Can you read it again, Shamar? Huh? It yeah. says, "Children, obey your parents in the Lord." Right. The children are who? The men that are first coming into the truth, and then it's so on and so forth. Because a lot of times you say, you know, the bro there's a brothers that say what? Double honor to the elders and apostles, great millstone. Mm -hmm. Well, you got men now that it came up that are pretty much like elders that have been in the camps, you know, and then. It's, why? Because once upon a time, the, the elders that are in the churches now, what did they do? They were children, and they obeyed their parents, which were the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. I got something for you. Uh, this is, uh, of course, <clears throat> edamonline.com. I pressed on the word elder, and it says, more old. More old, right. Yep, uh, Zaquan in the Hebrew. Yeah. You know, which is, you know, someone that is older than you, in the truth. All right, so you got, you got heads of camps. And also, too, why, why are those men the heads of camps? Why? Because they were diligent. And they were uh, obedient themselves to the men that taught them. All right? Going, when we were just calling the elders, the apostles who were calling themselves apostles now, the elders, we were, we were calling them elders. You know? And we still do call them elders. You know? And, and throughout time, there's been a growth to where 
The scripture says what? Train up a child in the way he should go, and in, in the end, his way should not depart from him. So the what happened is that you have men that have grown in the truth because they were nurtured in the truth, and now the Lord has imparted a portion unto them, putting men up under them, you know? Yeah, read, read verse 1 again, huh? It says, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Right, this is right, man. You know the scripture, that's what the scripture says to do, man. You know, you got a lot of, uh, uh, be, everyone, you know, being in the world before you come in the truth, you know, you're going to come in with some pride, you're going to come in with some leaven, you may not know that you have, you know, but throughout time, you're going to have to learn order, man. You're going to have to learn structure. You know, you got to learn protocol because this is the most highest business, all right? And throughout a business, you come into a business, you don't come into a business telling your uh, your overseer, you don't tell your manager how you want to do your job. You come into a, a business, you working for a company, if you will, all right? You're going to have to take, you're going to take orders. You're going to learn the steps, the guidelines of what to do and what not to do, uh, all right? Yeah, you keep reading up. Father it says, it says, honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Right, because they teach you, they give you the basics of what you need to know that you took so you can survive. You know what I'm saying? When you get out there on your own, so to say. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and also too. You know, how else are you going to live long on the earth? By receiving everlasting life. You know? Because the, the men on earth have survived the test. Same concept when you're in the military. If you're in the military, you come in, you are a private, if you will, or whatever, you know, the rank is. You come, you have the, you have a, a officer to report to. And that officer, obviously, the one battles, he been through, he got stripes, you know, he had... He has the credentials, if you will, to show you how to survive. Mm -hmm. You know? This is uh, Ecclesiasticus of Sirach, chapter 34, verse 9. It says, A man that has traveled knoweth many things, and he that has much experience will declare wisdom. He that has no experience knoweth little, but he that has traveled is full of prudence. And like your brother was saying, it goes into <clears throat> experience. And, you know, like the Heavenly Father has set up, you know, I was an apostle, a great millstone. He gave them, you know, he set, he set them set them up first, of, you know, before we came up. You're talking about 20, 25, 30 years. Those were 20, 35, you know, 35 years of straight, what, spirit, experience in spirit, man. So when we came in with spirit, we already knew, ah, right, you know what, these men, have, they've, they've traveled this road, this road before. You know what I'm saying? They paved the way. Now, they're still moving forward, but they've already, the path is right behind them. So, we just got to follow the path. Now, it's still going to be, the path ain't, you know, it's, it's, gonna, it's still going to be thorns, but for the most part, if you follow the, you know, uh, the blueprint, so to speak, you know, you're going to have a better shot, and you're going to get there with a lot less scratches and a lot less uh, uh, bumps, you know, and that's 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 how, that's how it goes, experience. I say that. Flesh and bodies, but uh, the main point I'm trying to make is so our brothers can last longer in the truth. And that's the reason why you know the Bible gets into the elders and the apostles and the stones and uh, get into the word diligently. You know, you gotta take everything they say with a grain of salt so you can apply it because you know, you can't apply the word of God without a reason of understanding as society. says, verse 3, like the brother said, he said, uh, that it may uh, may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Verse 4. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Okay. So, if you got men up under you, you know, uh, you're supposed to don't provoke them to anger. 
You know, you you, you got to deal uh, in the spirit. You know, so you because you accountable for that man's uh, uh, soul. Remember, because the scripture says, uh, what is that? I think it's in Peter. It says, uh, "Harken unto the elders, for their watches over your souls." If I'm if I'm quoting correctly. Yep, and and that's the case, man. Because you know, as a as men of the Lord, remember the scripture says that I believe it's the Romans, the fourteenth chapter, that just because you got a, a man, that you got that Romans fourteen. Okay, so basically, just because uh, 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 you have a man that's up under you and the truth, remember that's the Yahweh Bashim Shai servant that you're dealing with. He's not your servant per se. Okay, he's what. He's some. He's a, a potential man of the Lord. So you gotta deal in the spirit. You gotta nurture him. You gotta build him up. You know, and he might be a part of the elect. You know, you gotta move in fear. And that's what the scriptures are ultimately saying. You know, don't prov don't provoke your children to anger. All right. Why? Because you don't want you don't want to lead them lead them astray. You don't want to be have his blood on your hands. All right. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Because we you know we talked about is <clears throat> if you. And then part of it is also understanding that you, you when you when you when you know when you taking you watching over these brothers that are under you, understand that you were given time and you know, to what to go through stuff. So you have a different level of understanding. So also it also goes in you know, spiritual expectations. It's like you'll be like, Oh, you should man, you should have known that, you should have known this, you should have known that. Well, you know these things because you went through these things. So even as you judge and, and you correct and you instruct, always understand, you know what I'm saying, that you are ahead and then that brother is not where you at. So you have to actually come down to his spiritual level, right, to be able to, to what, to show him the ropes instead of just judging from your spiritual level. Because if you're judging from your spiritual level, then the, esp the spiritual expectation that you have on him is not what? It's not spiritually balanced. You're going to drive him to anger. Right. You're making too high from it. It's too high for him. He, he, he seems like he always have to uh, reach for it. Uh, but if, if you bring it down, and make it simple for him, he will be able to follow. You know, so that's important as a teacher, as a, as an elder in your camp, to uh, to to bring that out to the younger Akim. You know, be that example for him. You know. Yep. So I looked at that word provoke, and the definition instead of exacerbate, exacerbate says irritate intensely, infuriate. This futile process uh, of what it is, and it gives an example in a sentence. It says, irritate intensely, period. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, basically, don't, don't rule with rigor. You know, don't don't be uh, a tyrant. You know? Go ahead, uh. This is so uh, Ecclesiastes chapter, chapter 4, verse 30. It says, be not as a lion in thy house, mm -hmm. nor frantic among thy servants. You know the word frantic for me? Not sure. Where is that at? Uh, Sirach 4.30. Chapter 4, verse 30. It says, Be not as a lion in thy house, nor frantic among thy servants. Yeah, it says, uh, Desperate or wild with excitement, passion, fear, pain. Or this dictionary.com. You know, uh, because it's basically saying the opposite. You know, because you got to, uh, don't be a lion in your house, but don't be frantic neither. Mm -hmm. You know, don't be, because there's a balance. You can't be you can't be too rash, but you can't be too you can't be too soft neither. The etymology of that word is uh, insane. Frantic, insane. You know, in, anything is uh, insane is not sanity. Right. You know, not rational. You know, the, the younger brothers. Uh, you know, you see that he's young. You gotta use wisdom. Yep. Same reason why you know the apostles, you know, older brothers, they use they start to use uh, you know, brothers. They start to use we the apostles already there. Younger, younger brothers can't, you know, use me. They got to understand the milk. You know, got to go to the milk <coughs> stage. Right. Uh, precept, uh, Hebrews 13 and uh, 17. Obey them that have the rule over you, and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls, as they that must give account, that they may do it with joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. Yeah, and they say that, that they are, uh, can you read it one more time? Yeah. Uh, for they, for this is the end part. No, no, no. So we begin. Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves. For they watch for your soul as they that must give account. Yeah, that's the point right there. They must give an account. Yeah. 
You know, because it depends on how you treat that man, the Lord is going to judge you. You know, because the scripture says what? Every, uh, uh, all every people. out of word. Or yeah, yeah. Like, no, no, brother. Every out of word, you have to give account thereof for the day of judgment. Exactly. So we, uh, even, even as leaders, we, uh, yeah, we count the cost. Yeah, we, we count the cost. You know, sometimes we talk about things and, uh, may talk about it for a while. You know, you got to let it marinate. You know what I mean? Before, uh, Hasty in judgment and shit like that. You know what I mean? Because at the same time, we're being looked down upon too. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it goes in with mercy. Yeah. You know, that's what mercy, mercy plays a role, a big role into that. You know, because if you don't have if you don't have mercy, then you're gonna make quick judgments, not truly understanding that hey, you know what? This brother is is you know, because just because a brother goes off, it doesn't mean that you know he's, he's a wicked. Yeah. He's wicked. You know, he's now he's might have done a wicked deed, but just. Being done of doing the wicked demons going off. Every time you go off, you've done a wicked deed. So, but you have to have wisdom and understand, okay, what has he done? Get into the context. What has he done? What does the law say about it? What did what does Yahweh Shah say about that? Right. You know what I'm saying? And that so like that that goes into uh what Paul Paul constantly reiterates about the gentleness and the uh uh tender, uh, tender, like, tender being tender, tender. tender. Yeah. Right, and that don't mean oh I love you, brother. And this, that, and the third, which ain't nothing wrong with that. Of course, you know, brothers got love for each other, but that's exactly what it's talking about, being, having long suffering for the brother that is next to you or, or the younger brother that's under you. You got to learn to suffer uh, their folly, if you will, you know, because Jake once... It's hard-headed, man. Yep, yep. Jake, when, Jake is fucking knuckleheads, man. Yeah, and, and that's how the Most High is looking at us. That's right. You got to remember that as well, because... Never forget, you know, matter of fact, if I may, let me get this real quick. That's the spirit. This is uh first Peter. Excuse me. This is first Peter. This is scriptures, uh give all diligence, make it four. One and ten. One and ten, right. So what it says that's first Peter. Yeah, start up higher. Start up at uh first three. This is second Peter's one, verse three. According as his as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory and virtue whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature right having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust and beside this giving all diligence add to your faith virtue and to your virtue knowledge right and then when we talked about the virtue is the morality all right, go ahead. Into knowledge, temperance. To temperance, patience. And to patience, godliness. See, yeah. So, so like, yeah. go back. So, cause, yeah. cause, uh -huh. And to knowledge, temperance. Yep, temperance. You got to be balanced. You know, you got to be able to uh, uh, suffer. Go ahead. And to temperance, patience. Patience. Again, patience meaning what? To suffer. Go ahead. And to patience, godliness. Yep, godliness. Because you're going to, you got to act according to what we, how about Shimei al Shah doing this in there. How would the, how about Shimei al Shah? Want me to react in this scenario you know that's the godliness you know you don't do things according to your own will why because then you be you become like that man that's that right. you're trying to correct that's right you know keep going into godliness brotherly kindness brother that's it's a knowledge brotherly kindness now that right. brotherly kindness is talking about that you know what brother i know you messed up i know you did this that and the third but you know you got to get through it this is what you got to do right next time just don't do it again that's right that's right, right. Keep, keep going uh, for if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord, Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. Yep, keep going. But he that lacketh these things is blind. Right. And cannot see afar off. Right. And have forgotten that he was purged from his old sin. That's the point right there. You forgot that you was purged from your own sin. So you got to remember your scenarios that Yahweh Shah is looking at you and forgiving you for whatever you're going through. Because if you forget that kindness and all that, then you forgot that the, the Lord is doing this for you too. Because right. uh, there's no way you got to the level. There's no way that Heavenly Father is going to give you, you know, Yahweh Shah is going to give you men under you if you haven't gone through situations like that where you faced, you know, situations like that where you, you had to be given mercy. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and so when you remember that, that's powerful scripture because it literally says that. It, right. And don't remember that. Don't remember where you was at. Right. You know what I'm saying? How you receive mercy. And if right. you receive mercy, you got to judge accordingly uh, 
for what? Being kind and having mercy. Now, it doesn't mean, like the scripture said, it, you know, it doesn't mean you got to just go soft and lean at all times. But in, in every judgment that you make, you always have to have that mercy. You know what I'm saying? If, if the, you know, of course, that's if the brother accepts correction. That is. Right. You know, because if he's, if he's not accepting correction and instruction, then that's a, that's a whole different ballgame. No, but we talking about if a brother feels sorrowful about his deeds, right? Mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta extend that arm in mercy. That's what Yahweh Shah is all about, man. Look, okay, keep going to Ephesians six, up. Yes, sir. This is uh, verse five. It says, "Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in singleness of your heart." As unto Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. Yeah, a lot of people don't understand that the the the, the so, rank and the order. So. Yahweh Shem Yahushai established certain men, and, and and that's that. A lot of people they come up in in the camps, they think, oh, they, you just looking at just ordinary men, or oh, y'all just been in here long. That's it. I know as much as you know. You know the scripture say you better look at your you a servant, you come in the truth, you look at your master with fear and with trembling. Why? Because Yahweh Shem Yahushai set those men up. Not be not it's not by coincidence. You know. That's why, hey man, that's why I always say, the, uh, 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 the, how would you say, the, the grade, oh no, no, the difference of promotion and maturity in the truth is understanding order. You know a younger man in the truth because he's just all over the place, he doesn't have understanding, he doesn't know where he's placed when it comes to being a part of the body, you know? You know a man that has... He has understanding, he's starting to gain understanding because he knows his place. He knows when to speak, he knows when not to speak. He understands the order of things. That's right, that's right. He fears, he trembles. Ultimately, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, can you keep going on that? Yes, sir. Verse 6. I got something right there. If you can read that scripture again. Yes. It says, Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, and singleness of your heart. As unto Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. Right. Uh, you know, I, I want to look up the word singleness, sing, singleness of your heart, right? And then the Greek word is aplotes, and it's H A P L O T S, aplotes. And it says, simplicity, sincerity of, of the heart. It says, mental honesty. Yeah, mental honesty. The yeah. virtue of one who is free from pretense and hypocrisy. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and the pretense and hypocrisy, those are things, those are elements that, those are all fruits of the flesh. Those are elements that you, that you, that you, that's that loving that you get when you're in the world. Mm -hmm. Pretense. Remember when we was on the highways, I, one of the things I said was like, man, you coming to the truth, like, you ain't got to fake the funk no more. Mm -hmm. You know, if you broke, you broke. You know what I'm saying? And just acknowledge that. You know, you're not the wisest man in the world. You know, you're not the slickest dude in the world. And you don't have to front and, and make a pretense and act like, you're somebody that you're not. Yeah. yeah. And, and my margin, it says uh, sincerity. That's you right. know, because yep. when you're sincere, you acknowledge your faults. Right. You know, that's a part of having a fear. Because when you fear the Lord, you acknowledge, oh, I fucked up. You know, I need, I need to correct myself. And who do you go for correction? You go to those older men. You go to men of more understanding than you. Right. You know? But what Babylon teach you not to... Uh -oh, Babylon teach you to be selfish. Yeah, hell yeah. Right? So you don't have no humility in that. There's no humility. So with, with the humility, then you could gain understanding. You know, the fear of the Lord uh, is, is the beginning of, of knowledge. That's right. Know? So the uh, beginning of wisdom. So yep. so you got to have that humility in you. You know, you got to drop down. You know? That's right. Uh, Come. That's why I said children. The, the next definition says not self-seeking. Not self-seeking. Yeah. Self <laughs> yep. Self-will. Yep. Because you become self-willed, man. You, uh, 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 and you're driven by your own emotions. You're driven by your own understanding. And the scripture, we know what the scripture says about a man, his own understanding. Yeah. And the scripture also says, what else? Do nothing without advice. You know? That's Who right. do you go to for advice? Those men of experience. That's right. Yep. It says, uh, so Sirach 32, verse uh, 9. If thou be among great men, make not thyself equal with them. And when ancient men are in place, use not many words. Yeah, another word for ancient is elder, which is going into those parents. Right. That's right. 
You know why? Because you 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 want to hear, you want to obtain, you want to eat. You ain't you ain't you don't know the skills to do the cooking. <laughs> you know, you you don't know how to cook just yet, man. Sure. You know, just chill out, watch and learn. So you can you know you know when you first come into. I worked in the kitchen. You first come in the kitchen, you know how to wash dishes. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. first job yeah, in the so kitchen. You, put you <laughs> get put in the in the in the back where it's yeah. hot and muggy yeah. to wash dishes. Yeah. So you call utility, utility work. And yeah, yeah, utilities. Yeah. That's That's right. Utilities. right. And then as you grow and you and you start watching the sous chef, you watch start watching the line cook. Right, and you and you get your knife skills up. You learn how to yeah. cut first. Yeah. You don't you don't start. Turning on the oven just yet, <laughs> you know that takes time, man. Making plates, yeah, making yeah. plates. You ain't designing right, right. nothing. When man. you get to a certain level, you're like, wow, okay. You ask this man, okay, how how long is it gonna take for this particular meat to cook? Right, and right. Then he'll give you, you know, a, he probably said thirty minutes. Right. But you see him pulling pulling the joint out, the meat out, twenty five minutes before thirty minutes. Yeah. Like, why? But you taste it. You see, because he. He's been there. Yeah, he's seasoned. He's seasoned. So he, he knows that this particular meat didn't need the, you know, an extra five minutes. Right, or right. Or this particular meat needs an extra. These are things you just can't know without knowing. You know, yeah, you, yeah. Just, you just can't. You yeah. gotta learn. It's with the spirit. You cook with, not for nothing, we talking about cooking and shit. You know, you cook with your spirit. That's why they yeah, call it yeah, soul food. Yeah. You cook with your spirit. You, oh, I know, that's done. It's done. It's ready. You know, when you season things, you it's need really discernment. Good. It's your spirit, no doubt. Yep. Yup, it's spiritual, man. It's spiritual, man. You know, oh, he put, you know, they put their foot in it. Why? Because they put love and they put their spirit into the food. And you can taste it. You know, and it's the same thing in this in this truth, man. You know, when someone is giving you advice, you know when someone's giving you sincere advice. Oh yeah. You know, when the, and, the, and the advice is coming from a good place, you want to hearken unto, unto that, man. Uh, if, and for the most part, the bulk of GMS, you know, it's coming from a good place. It's coming from a place of sincerity. Right, and it's right. something that you ought to take heed of. Because it, yeah. it's, it's really life or death. Yeah, I was just about to say that. We put our lives on the line, Absolutely. man. If we tell you something, we're not, we not lying to you, man. Right. You know, it's, it's because we've either gone through it yeah. or we've been taught. Uh, we've been taught. That's what we've been taught. And, you know, we've heard experiences of it. You know what I mean? And we, we want salvation. You know what I mean? Right. So we're going to do everything in our might to achieve that. In line, it's not going to help, you know? Setting you up or just guessing, guessing, giving advice and just guessing the advice. Heart is deceitful above all things, you know, desperately right. wicked. This is Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the yeah. ways of death. Yeah, it uh, seemed right. It, seem, it, seem, it seems right, but it ain't right. It's, it, what's right is what's according to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and you being a child in this truth don't know that. The mind of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is, is wide, it's broad, right. it's without number, okay? So you just come in the truth, you have no idea, okay? You don't, you don't, you, you, you know what I mean? I say you don't have an idea. You, well, you don't have an idea how broad and how vast this, this so truth is. The magnitude. The magnitude, that's right. the, the, that would be a better word. The magnitude of, of the, uh, uh, of, you know, the, uh, 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 the mind of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Let's keep going, huh? Con, this is uh, verse 6. I'm um, starting at 5 again. Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh with fear and trembling and singleness of your heart unto, as unto Mashiach Yahweh Shah. Not with eye service as man pleases. Right. But as the servants of Hamashiach. Yeah, yeah, that's the opposite. That's another opposite of sincerity because you could have someone that's, you know, not necessarily, he's not sincere in the way he's coming up. It's pretense. Cooking. Right. It's, like um, the scripture said, a pretense. It's like in front of the, the brothers, you know, you're saying the right things. Right. When nobody's, you think nobody's watching, the Lord's always watching. Right. And doing something totally different. You know, you got a lot of, a lot of dudes over the years, especially, you know, with the elders and apostles. You know, the errors and apostles come 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 down and do the acting totally different. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh man, you know, a rod. Like, yeah, you a rod. Uh, that was the, that was uh, that was Salaki, but yeah. I'm gonna cut you off. Yeah. A yeah. rod. A rod was an example of that they used to be head of Virginia. And I remember uh, Apostle Gabar said a while back they had their eye on him. Why? Because yeah. you know he won. He he was he was a man pleaser. I just say that you know yeah. he he was a man pleaser. You know that that's what it boils down to. So you got to be sincere, man. You know, and, and, and know 
real man likes a man pleaser. It's not real, then you become a groupie. You know, or you the, the world of GMS says, you know, via Texas, you become a whole ass nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you, because a, a, a whole ass nigga is, is pleasing men. It's not right. pleasing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, you showing your ass. Right. You know? Right. And when you please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, then the elders and the apostles are going to be pleased with you. And that's, that's the thing. But when you go in there pleasing men and then showing that, you know, that eye service, you're not, you be fully yourself, man. Like the brothers, the brothers said, it's a matter of life and death. You coming up with with that old level of pretense. Right. I'm a, I'm a be me when they're not watching, but when I'm gonna be around them, I'm gonna mm -hmm. be somebody else. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be what they want me to, the, 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 you know, I'm gonna be that person that they expect me to be, but I know I'm totally different. Right. So I'm gonna put up that face. Now there's a balance. There's also a balance to it because you, you can please men in righteousness. You wanna, you wanna please uh, the scripture that I park for. I mean, these great men. Yep. Do do videos. You. Wake up the elect, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got you. That's that's pleasing to the ultimate man, your Howard Shaw. Yep. Go remember ahead, when, huh? Remember when we um when we went up? Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's funny because our live was was in there when we took that trip to the main camp. Mm -hmm. And you remember uh, on the face, the, the, the expression on the on the and apostles, and you know seeing the sheer number mm -hmm. of, of seeing the faith. And you remember they was like you know they had that that. It kind of it was like happy right. to see that man work. You know, it's, it's happening. And like brothers is waking up, and then that's what pleases ultimately. That's what pleases the whole body. You know, the men just do what you gotta do. Do the work. Yep. This is a. I, I'm not sure. I don't think this is the one you quoted. Uh, this is uh, this is Sirach chapter twenty verse twenty seven. A wise man shall promote him, promote himself to honor with his words, and he that hath understanding will please great men. That's what I'm saying. Just do videos. Apply, apply what you've been taught. You know, that that's what's pleasing. That's what that's that's what uh, that's uh, that's what's your pie until your how about your mouth shy in the body. When we see it, not only uh, just great men, all the men, because right now it's all about the elect. You know what I'm saying? If Go I ahead, may, because this is going to prove that there's a righteous, there's a such thing as righteous man pleasing, right? Uh -huh. And what this says is, he that tilleth his land shall increase his heat. When you till your when you till your land, you're just playing your part. You're just doing your part. You're not tilling someone else's land. You're not trying to be someone else. You're just doing you. You're being you. You know? It says, and he that pleaseth, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. And he that pleases great men shall get pardoned for iniquity. Look at that. Ooh. You know, because a lot of times people, a lot of the outsiders, the camps, they be like, what well, oh, they man pleases, man pleases. Well, if we please great men, you're going to get a pardon of iniquity. So that shows the balance of the pleasing of great men. But right. the pleasing of great men comes in sincerity, and it, and it comes in you playing your part, not trying to go outside of what, you try to, what you're supposed to do. Because I'll say this real quick. You know, I'll just use this as an analogy, you know. And, you know, for instance, you know, you come into, for instance, you're on a football team or a basketball team. You come in, you know, for instance, you're not the scorer. You're not, you're not the man on the team. You know, and you got to know that. You come on the team with Michael Jordan, look, I ain't taking a game winning shot. But guess what? I'm going to set up a pick so Jordan can take the shot. Right. And that becomes what? That becomes pleasing to Jordan. Like, look, he did a good job. And guess what? That's going to, look, look what he, everyone's going to acknowledge that pick that you set. Everyone's going to acknowledge that pass that you made. Why? Because you played your part. You didn't want to be the man. All right? So you got to apply things in a spiritual aspect because I say this too, and you know, an analogy of you know football a lot of times you know you don't gotta be the person to make the play to make the play you know what i'm saying you can make the play without making the play if you know what i mean you know you can you can cause things to happen by just playing your role but like, like that and that's the problem you look at nowadays look at look at nowadays the teams that are set the big threes and there's no role players no role players no one wants to be a role player but people because people don't understand the value of a role player of a charles oakley Horace Grant, D Dennis Robin, that, that Robert type Horry. Robert Horry, them people are gone. They're not in sports anymore. Everybody wants to be the man. And that's the, the, the breed that are people are growing up and seeing. But you said, bro, what you said is so powerful because you look at these guys that want to be the man and they're not winning much. Yeah. And you got guys like Robert Horry, Robert Horry with five championships. Right, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Let's get back, let's get back <laughs> to the precepts.
Let's go back, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Sirach 8, verse 8. Despise not the discourse of the wise, right? but acquaint thyself with their proverbs. Yeah. For of them thou shalt learn instruction and in how to serve great men with ease. He said, acquaint thyself with their proverbs. You know, who may make metaphor like the brother just yeah, did yeah, that. Yeah, the yeah, brother yeah. Well, well, that. The brother just did 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 that. The example. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was just going to say that because you got, because basically when you're in the spirit, you know, you start speaking, you don't have to say the exact words of the scriptures, but you're applying it to a way that you can convey it or do so you can understand it. That's a proverb. It's a dark saying. Because that's what a proverb is. You know, it, it's just a it's basically a riddle, but it's a, a riddle of understanding to get you everlasting life. <laughs> you know? A righteous proverb. Uh, yeah, verse six again it says, Not with eye service as man pleases. But as the servant of Yahweh Shai, doing the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai from the heart. Yeah, from the heart, from the mind. You know, I, that's the sincerity, man. You know, you and you know when someone does something from the heart, as opposed to I'm doing this so everyone, just so everyone can see. Which is nothing wrong with having everyone see, because then you're applying, saying this is the type of person I am. But it has to be, it has to be in you. It has to be you. It says, with good will, doing yeah. service. All right, with good intentions. Yep, good intentions. Yep, yep. As to the Lord and not to men. Yeah, as to the Lord, because I'm doing this because the Lord is going to see it and not because other men are going to see it. Not just any old regular men are going to see it. At, at the end of the day, the Lord sees it. It makes me think of that scripture, he that lendeth, lendeth to the Lord. That's right. It That's right. And it... it Lending oh. can be anything. Right. Lending can be anything. That's right. Don't think don't think of it as just monetarily. Lending can be whatever your spiritual gift is in the lot. Yeah. If you lend that out to another brother, you're lending that to the body to strengthen uh Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. Oh, it's okay. it's gonna say it. Oh, it's a lot. Yeah, no. uh, reverse it. You had something up? Yeah, uh let me just get it real quick. This is uh Matthew. Right, Matthew chapter six. Uh, uh, yeah, Matthew chapter six, verse fourteen. For if ye forgive men their trespass, your heavenly Father uh, will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men, neither men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance. For they disfigure their faces that they may appear unto men to fast. Mm -hmm. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. When you fast, that's something between you and the Lord. Yeah. You know, I know one time a brother, I know, and I know the brother wasn't being like, you know, yeah. spiteful anything. He asked me, brother, how, how long have you ever fasted? I said, yo, brother, that's between me and the Lord. Yeah. Like, you don't run, oh, I fast 20 days before. <laughs> you know, you don't do that. You know, you do, you know, you, you, when you fast, you fast unto the Lord. Cause it's a personal thing. It says, but thou, but thou, when thou fastest, anoint thy head and wash thy face. Cause you don't want to appear to everybody like you're hungry. Right. That thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy father, which is in secret. And thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. So that goes into the brother we said uh, uh, before as well. And another scripture, I thought this was it. It says, uh, when you do alms, do it in secret. Because when you when you do an alms. The Lord sees and rewards you later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, openly. Right. You know? So, hey, you, it don't got to be... Look, look. I don't need everybody to know that I did for the Lord. You know? Right. When you do for the Lord, as long as the Lord knows, that comes with being spiritual. Knowing that what? The angels of the Lord is around, and you're going to you're gonna have a good report when you're out watching your shot. And also, another thing that... Um, one of the reasons why I support you is because the Heavenly Father, Yahweh... Because when we read the scriptures, we, we, we learn about Yahweh Shah, and then we learn about Yahweh. I mean, you, the more you read these scriptures, you understand the Heavenly Father and how we, uh, um, loves secrecy. Yes. Secrecy yes. is something that the Lord and the Heavenly mm -hmm. Father values. You know, there's many things that the Heavenly Father values, but secrecy is something that he values tremendously. That's why you hear about prudence. Uh, 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 many scriptures tell you how to be prudent, do things in a discretion. Discretion, yep. You know, mm -hmm. so secrecy is, is, is value in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Yeah. Let the right hand know what the left hand is doing. Right, right. Yep, yep. And that's why, you know, Esau tries to imitate that. You know, mm -hmm. they try to imitate that secrecy, that secret counsel. 
Because there is a secret council with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Yeah. But the air out yellow. Right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Well, you know, the scripture talks about that when um because if you don't dwell in that secrecy, then you do get exposed in the open. Mm -hmm. You know, the and the Lord will exp remember he said I will uh, laugh at your calamities. Mm -hmm. He's he gonna yeah. mock at you in the open. You won't get mocked in the open, yeah. you know, if you don't dwell in that secrecy. You know? Okay, uh, can I read this real quick just to back that up? This is uh, Psalms 97 and 2. Uh, no, I started verse 1. The Lord reigneth, let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of isles be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are around about him. Righteous and judgment are in the habitation of his throne. But that's, I, that's not the exact one I wanted, but it's talked about. It said clouds and darkness are around about him. That darkness represents that secrecy. It doesn't represent uh, just actual darkness. It represents that secrecy, man. It was another one too, but that, that was it. Yeah, keep, keep going, Arthur. Huh. I'm going to read uh, 7 again. It says, With good will, doing service, as to the Lord, Yahweh Shemiah Shai, not to men, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether it be bond or free. Yeah, whether it be bond or free. You know, whether he be bond or free. Right, come, come, come. All right, verse 9, it says, And ye masters, do the same things unto them, forbearing threatening, knowing that your master also is in heaven, neither is there respect of persons with him. Yeah, just because you got rank, just because you've been in the truth X amount of years, you know, you, you can't be threatening nobody. You can't be, you know, yeah. you can't be, you can't be wilding out. You can't deal carnally. Yeah. You got to deal in the spirit. That, yeah, that's that's uh, very important because when you look at this, um, the scriptures, the scripture says, go out in the highways and the edges and compel. Right. The compeller means threatening. Yeah. So you have, again, everything is balanced. It's yeah. all about balance. It's all about understanding the spiritual and the calm. Yeah. Like you said, don't be like, hey, man, if you don't do this, man, I'm going to do this. You know, I'm going to hit, you know, I'm going to put hands on you and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah. Come on, yeah. man. You had examples, but top remember he's making yeah. brothers doing push-ups on their on their knuckles and shit like that. Yeah. You had examples of that in old school, you know. You, yeah, you know, sack tables. Yeah, sa yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> sack days and all that, you know. That, that that's uh uh that, that's tyrannical, man. Yeah. The most high don't want that, man. You right. know, you can't you know even in the going into the law, if a man had a servant, he he violated you, if you will, or you. Lord was the beating with 40 stripes, no more. Why? Because you were show to the rest of your brothers that you hate your brother. And you can't you can't you can't beat a man too much. You know, you could you could beat him in righteousness, because the scripture says you spare the uh, uh, he spares a rod, hates his child. You know, so these are the children, you can't spare the rod, but you gotta do it in a manner to where you go he's gonna recover yeah. and, and so he can be built up as well. Right. Like, said in the scriptures. No, nurtured, Come. nurtured up, and then admonish. So there's admonishment, there's nurture. Right, 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 right. Yep, yep. Verse 10 says, Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord, Yahabashim Shah, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahabashim Shah, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Yeah, man, that's going into the, the elite, the Illuminati. Why? Because they're getting together, they're doing rituals, they're doing seances, blood sacrifices, praying to yeah. Molech. And, and, and what's the whole soul reason? <laughs> right. What's, what's the dude we just watched? Uh, Gino Jenkins? Gino yeah. Jennings? Yeah. AKA, AKA Sergeant Waters? <laughs> You know, aka Golden Lord. AKA you know, Golden yeah, Dolomite. Because his whole thing was, uh, you know, Esau and who, who Esau is. He just knocked it off from being a so-called white man, yeah. right? But Esau, who we know to be the so-called white man today, is doing these things. Why? Because he's mad that he doesn't have his blessing. Mm -hmm. So his whole sole purpose is to do these rituals and these and these seances to put it on Israel, mm -hmm. and, and 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 they're attacking us with this mm -hmm. stuff, man. You know, you had Khan, brother. Um, what the brother said, can you uh go to Ephesians 6 and 11? Khan, verse uh, verse 11.
put on the whole armor of Yahweh Hashem and Hashem that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Right. Remember, uh, Apostle Bar even made a, uh, a video about stand. Stand. So, yep. Right. Yep. How you got You got to stand. Right. Yep. Now, when you look up the word uh, wiles mm -hmm. of the devil, uh, the Greek word is methodia. And brothers can already see what's in it. Right? Method. Right. Mm -hmm. Methodia. Method. That's where you get the word method, and it says cutting arts, deceit, craft, and trickery. Yeah, because you know, you gotta look at it from the perspective of look, this world, especially in America, they don't America doesn't understand spirituality. When you go to the, the islands, you go to Africa, you go to South America, all around the world they understand spirituality, even going all the way east. Witchcraft, the, hardcore witchcraft. Right. The monks, they understand the chi, yep. the energy yep. and all that. They understand there's a world around us. America don't that, got that, that element. Is, you know, America yeah. is the most carnal place on the planet. That's right. right. That's you, right. You, like you said, brother, it's everywhere else, there's, right? there's acknowledgement of of spirituality yeah. on the left hand side. Yeah. You know, voodoo, witchcraft, and all these other nations. But when you come, when you get here, it's like, what are you talking about? Yeah, that's fairy tale. Fairy tales. Ah, that's come on, people flying around and, and right. carpets and shit. Right. Like Latin. It's, like, it's happening. Right. Because remember back in the, in the ancient world, you go back to ancient Babylon, they had, when you go into the magistrates and the, uh, 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 remember uh, Isaiah 47, it talks about the, uh, the sorceries and prognosticators, prognosticators yeah. all that, yeah. all that stuff is back, it's around. It's so called white man is doing those things. Yeah. All right. But see, he set up his image and make it seem like he's God. All right. But the scripture says what? That a, uh, Satan transformed himself and made him an uh, angel of light. But he's really the, the, the darkness, the the, right. the, the powers, the, the, those rulers of yeah, the rulers of darkness of this world. Like the scripture right. says, man. He called himself the beacon of light. The forgers of love. The for, exactly, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, the scripture says, right. how are the things that Esau searched out, man? Right. Only right. by the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yal that he put his, the, the, his spirit on the prophets to expose this devil, man. That's right. right. And that's the reason for the buildup. Right. That's the reason for the buildup of, uh, of, of the teachers and the apostles and the different offices that we spoke about earlier in the Ephesians. That's right. Now. These different offices, you just disseminate this information mm -hmm. to, to the office that you hold. And right. for this buildup right here, this is what we're talking about, the trickery of, of, of Esau. This is heavy because this is toward, this is coming to the end of this letter to the Ephesians. Right. And he's, he's telling them, um, look, you got to arm yourselves. Yep. It's, it's the conclusion of, you know, like yep. getting the conclusion, it's like, look, arm yourselves. That's right. It's the powers, the so called powers that be. Yeah. It's Malachi chapter 2, verse 7. It says, For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So the priest's lips, it says, that that's the mouth. You know, it keeps knowledge. How do you keep knowledge? The one thing, being, being in the shoot, you know, Most High has taught us how to be readers, searchers, studiers. You know, we get into languages, brothers getting into different things, geopolitics. I mean, some of the things we get we get into and how passionate we are about getting into it and finding out more. These are things that, you know, this, it comes from your by Shimei Hoshah. And we learn, we also got those straight from our elders and apostles. Right. And then we pass, it on, we pass it down to the brothers behind us. That's so you, when you're coming in, you got to understand, brothers are able to say the things they say on the highways and the edges. Brothers go out for, you know. Four, five, six hours straight going into different topics. These things took time and and, and sacrifice. Bro, and it's nicks. All, when you go through this armor, all this armor <laughs> that we have, bro, it got nicks all in it. You know, you see yeah. football players coming. Yeah, you got different colors. Different colors. They call uh, battle yeah. scars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle, battle scars, scars, man. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're coming into. We're gonna have a lot more. Yeah, Gat, 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 and Ruben. Uh, that's why you see the chief. He got the most feathers. Yeah. Why? Because he won all those wars, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, precept. Well, no, nah, this is for later. Okay. Just, uh, continue on, bro. Uh, verse 11 again, stuff from there. It says, put on the whole armor of Yahweh by Shemir Hashad that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of, of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. Yeah, principalities dealing you know, with spirits, right? Demons. Yeah. Oh, cause yeah. uh, and uh, go ahead. Uh. Cause the word principality deals with the word uh, prince. 
you know, because uh, they said Satan is the uh, the prince. The prince, he, he, he's that prince. The prince of valley deals with spiritual demons, Satan, right, yeah. and the people he's orchestrating. His legion. His yeah. legion. Yep. Yeah. That's Slocky. That Greek word is uh, arche. The R C H E says rule of angels and demons. Yep. The, yeah. Which is well, really is, you know, also the angels and demons is working with Esau, man. Yeah, right. You know. Right. Uh, 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 the, the inaugurations, you know, right. things of that nature. Yeah. These, these councils, the UN councils, oh, yes. Bohe Bohemian oh, Grove, oh, yeah. all yeah. that. That they conjugating them, them demons up. Like, you know, remember, brother, you told me you say <laughs> they talk to Satan. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. they got, they got a round table, yeah. brother, brother. You know, we always talk about they got a round table with an empty seat, and, and guess who shows up in that? You know? yeah. It's Satan. Yeah, and and the thing is, is you have to believe that because when you go to uh, Job, yeah. Joel t told, uh, uh, Satan told the Most High, I came from what? Going to and fro from the earth. Yeah, yeah. So the Satan patroller, is he patrolling the earth? He damn right yeah, yeah. he does. He's jumping in bodies right. and all that. Just like the angels on, yep. on, on the right hand side are able to uh, 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 materialize, right? right They're able right, to put the right. elements together and, and put a body on what they have. You think Satan doesn't have that ability? Bro, the same way we're on <laughs> fire and we fear you, how about Shemiah Shah? These Edomites fear Satan and they're on fire for him, man. Right. Right, because they if they if, just when like they that. see when they see that entity show up and when they deal yeah. with that and they feel that vibration, they're they scares the shit out of them. That's and the, it it makes the, them want to do what he wants them to do. That's the pride and the confidence yeah. that yeah. they're able to do all yeah. the evil stuff. What, yeah. Uh, what's that? Uh, please, uh, Please ask me eight and eleven. You elites are going down, man. By yeah, the power of Yahweh by Shmi Al Shai, the angels are gonna get you, man. Yeah. Right. They're going to get you. Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai and the chariots and the men of the Lord, when we're endowed with the spiritual power, Al Barak oh, we're going to get your ass, man. And that demon, that entity, Shaitan, is not going to help you, man. That's, right. That's why we say, uh, 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 Aga Shaitan, which means I rebuke thee, Satan, right. and the Dab Mamania Shaitan, which means flee from me, Satan. Right. So it's not going to work, man. That's right. right. We're armed <laughs> thoroughly. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Hey, but please, uh, this is, um, Psalms 50, and I'm just, I'm just jump straight to the point, at 21. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such a one as thyself, but I will reprove thee and set them, and set, and set them in order before thine eyes. Yeah. Now consider this, ye that forget Yahweh, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to be left. That song's dark. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. we should bring that all I the like time. That one, yeah. You know, yeah. And, and the thing is, it's that space between Esau doing what he's doing mm -hmm. and the most high judgment. Yeah. That space in between is where Satan is telling them that you go, you, you're all right. Look, yeah. ain't nothing happening to you. Like I was talking to the brother on the phone who's going into some of the things that these, these elites do. Brother, like you, we go back, we go home to, to a woman or maybe nobody, you know, in bed. Some of these elites, they go back to the little boys waiting for them. You know, you know what in bed, and that that's 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 an abomination, and that it's it's this foul man. They kidnap children, right? They kill them. They they put them in slavery. They put them in chains. And of course, they have sex with them, and they and then they kill them, and then they order more kidnappings. I mean, these things are and they crazy into, shit, um, right? Don't forget, they into that they into that motherfucker uh, necrophilia. Necro that's another thing. They into yeah. that necrophilia shit. Well, that's that left hand power. Yeah, you watch the movie City of God, man. You know, I don't know if brother's seen it, but it's been a while. Yeah, yeah, you watch the movie City of God. The dude, remember the little boy? He, he wanted all the power. He went to that voodoo witch doctor. And they, and he said, no longer, your name is going to be Lil Zay. He mm -hmm. gave him the chain, and he took over the whole neighborhood. Why? Because he went to that voodoo yeah, that witch. Yeah. yeah, and then once he got that power, he took over the whole city. Yes. Everything. That's you know? Real. And they know that in Brazil. Yeah. You know? They know that yeah. stuff. He walked around with that, you know, that that aura. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know? of course, he got that power. Mm -hmm. Verse thirteen says, "Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh Hashem Shai, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand." Right. Mm -hmm. I got something real quick. You read your verse thirteen, now? Huh? Yes. All right. This is uh, I got the scripture. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter five. I'm um, gonna start at verse sixteen. Therefore. They receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand, for with his right hand shall he cover them, 
and with his arm shall he protect them. He shall take to him his jealousy for complete armor and make the creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemies. He shall put on the righteous as a breastplate and a true judgment instead of a helmet. He shall take holiness for an invincible shield. His uh, severe wrath shall be sharpened for a sword and the world shall fight with him against the unwise. Well, I brought that out. I did that a little early. But uh, uh, all in all, the scriptures talk about, you know, uh, spiritual uh, armor, man. You know, that was the mainly the point right there, you know. Yeah. Read that back, back in uh, Ephesians real quick, bro. Yeah, verse 13, it says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh by Shemi Shai, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Proverbs 22 and 3. The fruit of man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Now, Isaiah 33 and uh, 33 and 6. Basic scriptures, man. Basic scriptures are part of this. Uh, read that one more time out. It Jesus. says, Wherefore, take unto you. The whole armor of Yahweh by Shemi Shah, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Right, to stand, all right, you have to be prudent and foresee the evil day, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't get punished. Isaiah 33 and 6, this is how. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, the evil days, yep. and the strength of salvation, which we're going to get into in the armor. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. <laughs> That's your yeah. prized possession. Doing what the Lord tells you to do, you know. Yeah. Like so, the more, that's why I made a video about that. The more you ask yourself, "How great is my fear?" because that determines how much how much willing work you're willing to do for your Shah. How much faith you have? Yeah. Work. And how much faith too? The more your fear, the more works you should have. The more faith you should have. You know. Good precept. This is Romans thirteen and twelve. It says, "The night the night is far spent." The day is at hand. Right. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Yeah, the armor of light. Yeah. You know? Yeah, the armor of light is dealing with how Yahweh Shai dealt with it. Yahweh Shai suffered in the spirit, you know? He had to uh, uh, basically, you know, overcome adversity spiritually, not uh, carnally. He knew that. And that was the biggest test, you know, not to get carnal, yeah. you know? And, be spiritual, knowing that there's spiritual wickedness. You can't do nothing about it. If your flesh essentially wants to, I fuck this shit, or stuff a crack out and shit, you know, you, you want to you want while out, but you got to suffer it. I, I'll just read this real quick. This is First Peter 4 and 1. For, for as much, sorry, for as much did as Hamashiach have suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that hath suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. And that's what happens because the scripture says, what, be angry, which it says early in Ephesians, be angry, I think it's Galatians, be Ephesians angry, 4, 26. Con, he said, be angry, but sin not. You know, so you know about the spiritual wickedness, you know about the principalities and everything, Illuminati and all that. that yeah. Don't let that uh, uh, divert you towards sin. Exactly. That's, that's the spirit, that's the precept I'm working on in the Hebrew. Uh, I got a precept, because like the brother said, the arm of light, just, it's a, a scripture said a mindset, right? A spiritual mentality, right? Yeah. This is Second Timothy chapter two, verse two. It says, "Well, uh, now nah, I'm gonna start at three. Second, Second Timothy chapter two, verse three. It says, "Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of your house, Shai Mashiach." That's that's what, that's the spiritual mentality right there. It's understand your house, Shai is telling you that it is gonna be hard. You know, Yahweh is not telling you it's going to be easy. You know, when you come into this truth, man, especially the first the first couple of years, you, you know, Satan, the most high is looking at you like, all right, cool, you here. But Satan, is, he's coming. Now you sign, you you pledge an allegiance to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh You sign, you say, my soul, my spirit, which all, although your, your spirit always belongs to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh This time you say, no, you know. I'm, I'm willingly, I want to serve you, Yahweh Hashem. So, so what you think Satan's going to do? His job is to come in and make and make it as hard as possible for you to accomplish what you what you want to do, yeah. which is serve Yahweh Hashem. Yeah. 
shot. Yeah, it's warfare. So yeah. Yao Sha said, endure hardness. That's a spiritual mentality. Uh, go ahead, uh, quick precept. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is Matthew uh, 26 and um, 52, uh, 51. And behold, one of them which with one of them which were with Yahweh Shai stretched out his hand and drew a sword and stroke a, so, a servant of the high priest and smote off his off his ear. Then said Yahweh Shai unto him, Put up, put up against, put up again thy sword in its place. For all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall present he shall presently Give me more than twelve legions of angels, but how then shall the scripture be fulfilled? That thus it must be. Uh, we read that scripture because you know you live by the sword, you die by the sword, so it's not that time. Yahweh I said, I had the power to bring down twelve legions of angels to just wipe out everyone, but he it, it wasn't what the scripture had fulfilled. So you have to do what the scripture says. He knew he knew the spiritual. He 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 was. Cash, he he was storing up the spiritual bank account. He wasn't he wasn't he wasn't sowing unto his flesh. He was sowing unto the spirit. Scripture says, "What he that sowed unto the spirit shall reap life everlasting." That's right. You know, and that's what he knew. He knew the uh, 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 the reward that he would get if he was so unto the spirit. You know, the bigger picture. <laughs> yeah, and it wasn't all about him. That's what it boils down to. Yep, this, this self sacrifice. Right. When you have self-sacrifice, you go a long way. Right. You know? That's the greatest thing a man could do for a friend. Yeah, yeah. Lay, lay his life right. down for, for his brother, for, for his friend. Yep, for his brother. That would have been his self-will, right? Yep. But not according to what the scripture says. Yep. Go ahead, huh? Con. This is Ephesians 6 and 14. It says, Stand therefore, having your learns girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, right. and your feet shod with the preparations of the gospel of peace, Above all, take it. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Right. So, uh, you know, when I, I looked up that word, uh, shod. Yeah. Uh, right. When you look up the word shod, it's, um, let's say, Mm-hmm. Right, when you look that up, it says to underbind, to bind under oneself, bind on. It says to bind under one's feet, to put on shoes or sandals. Now, when you look that up, it says, uh, uh, it says to put shackles. It's like you know, what's that on when the scripture yeah. in apocrypha? Place of fetters upon what you. Kind? That, 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 that's that's yeah. the scripture that. That, that breaks so, that down, meaning the truth mm-hmm. has to be, which he says later on that he's a, he's a, he's a um, prisoner. The truth, you have to be a prisoner of the truth. You gotta, it, it's gotta be, the truth has to be something, because shackles are made to what? To restrict you, right? So when the, for your flesh wants to do certain things, the truth should be there to shackle you. You know, so you're like, okay, I'm gonna be a prisoner of the truth, and that's yeah. what's gonna uh, prevent me from doing things that my flesh lusts about. Huh. Read 15 one more time and then read, read that. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Uh, okay, uh, did you want 29 or 24? Yeah, t- you can read 21 down. Okay, 21. Uh, this is Bill of Wisdom. So Rock 6 and 21. She will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial, and he and he will cast her from ere it be long. Right, remember gospel, when you look that up, that translates to loosely uh, good words, basically. Tawab Dabari. Good spell. Good, yeah, yeah. Good, good speech. Good sayings. You know? Yep. Now, we know that to be the wisdom of the scriptures. Yep. Now, it says, it says uh, and he will cast her from her it belong, for wisdom is according to her name, and she is not manifest unto many. Give ear, my son, receive my advice, and refuse not my counsel. And put thy feet into her fetters and thy neck into her chain. Oh, well, that's why the scriptures say, right. keep thy foot when you go into the house. Of yeah, yeah, keep thy foot. That's right. Oh, that's right. Because oh, yeah. 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 you, you're not, because when you, when you quick, when 
with your feet, you're very rash. Yeah. Right. You know, you're, you're hasty, you know? And the truth keeps your feet from, from making hasty movements. Exactly. That's why Paul said, you know, and Paul said in Ephesians 6, 15, that your feet shod or shackled with yeah. the preparation yeah. of the gospel. Exactly. Yeah, man. You got to uh, uh, be bound. There's a boundary in the truth. You know, outside the bound, outside the truth, there's no boundary. You know, so if you're working within that boundary, you know you're dealing with the truth. You're dealing with wisdom. You know, that's what each shot with the preparation of peace, which all deals in the truth. You know, that's, that's, yeah. The Lord, so like the Lord said, He gives us peace that the world can't give us. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. What Nike say? Just do it. Yeah, yeah. You know, whatever you feel. That's the world. That's this world. The world has no boundary. The world has no standard. And the truth is a standard. That's right. Yeah. And you and you gotta operate and constantly keep your mind, which is really that's why he said your feet is really talking about your mind, you know, within the standard. Because right. the same the same scripture I quoted it said, and they may not know that they're doing evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you when you keep your when you keep your foot, you know you're not doing evil when you keep your foot. Yeah, yeah. You keep your, your mouth. Closed. Yeah. Scripture says even 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 a uh, even a fool is considered wise when he holds his peace. Yeah. You know, so, <clears throat> and when you when you hold that in, you're doing the right thing. You know, don't be hasty, don't be rash. It says, give in, my son, receive my advice. That's See, right. that when you're not rash, then you receive an advice and refuse not my counsel. That How goes into the first verse. Ephesians yep. 6 and uh, one. And 1. Children, obey your, obey your parents, parents and the Lord, for this is right. Yep. It's the counsel. Because that, as I was getting ready to say that, the counsel is what? The men that have uh, been labored, that have been laboring in the truth. Yep. All right? It says, give in, my son, receive my advice and refuse not my counsel, and put thy feet into her fetters and thy neck into her chain. Sure. Yep. Sure. Sure. Bow down thy shoulder and bear her and be not grieved with her bounds. When you bow down your so shoulder unto something, that means you're in subject to it. Mm -hmm. You know, when you acknowledge you're in subject unto the truth and, 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 you're, and, and to a body, <laughs> you know, you... you and you showing humility, and you're going to be guided. But you know the first thing, like you said, I, but the first thing, the first step is acknowledging yeah. your uh, 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 faults. Your faults, and acknowledging, like like, like Paul help. said. Remember, Paul said, "I acknowledge that although I want to do the good things, my flesh, I was sold in the sin, so my flesh is wicked." So when you acknowledge that on my own, I could do nothing but wickedness, and for me to do wickedness, I have to be under the truth. Then, then it's gonna be easy, but you have to acknowledge that on your own you can do no right in the eyes of the Lord. Yahweh has to be acknowledged. All right. It says, uh, it says, search, come unto her with thy whole heart and keep her ways with all thy power. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. What what scripture says what? Oh uh, uh uh the first commandment is what? The, uh, uh love Yahweh Shah all thy mind, body, mind, soul, and soul, spirit. spirit. You know, that's that's your power. You know, uh, it says, search and seek that she shall be made known unto thee when thou hast got hold of her, let her not go. Because when, the more and more you fall back, and you watch and you keep your feet shy with the uh, preparation of peace, you're not a, you know, uh, a discern better, mm -hmm. you know, because now you're learning. Because if you, when you're in a scenario and you so hasty, you think you don't know. I mean, you think you know already. But once you acknowledge that you don't know, and you, you 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 hold your feet back, so to speak, then you learn. You you know how to handle the scenario for the next occasion. And there's already a system in place for you to, to handle right. the scenario. Yep. Right. Right. For it to be handled, no matter what it is. That's right. Yep. Right, read down to twenty nine. Yep. It says, "For at the last, thou shalt find her rest." And that shall be turned to thy joy. Then shall her fetters be a strong defense for thee, and her chains a robe of glory. Mm -hmm. uh, Twenty nine. Uh, uh, so yeah. Keep going. No, no, that was yeah. good. That was yeah. That was yeah, a good yeah. Point. Because like, you know, because from what I realized, you know, personal experience, certain demons that you you fight, you know, you might have got rattled at first, and then you didn't know how to deal with it, and then a brother taught you, and you 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 learn how to cope with it. Yeah. One way or another, yeah. and now when it arrives, it's like I already know what to do with that. Yeah, because you know that's another <laughs> thing. This truth, man. That's another thing. These truth, these demons, they try to cycle back. Hell yeah! To yeah. see if they can fuck with you yeah. again. Yup. Hell back. yeah! They come back. That's Hell why. Yeah. That's why you know when you 
<laughs> when you seek advice and, and you get help with that, you get stronger because that's what it is. It's yeah. about, um, the scripture said what? Um, the path of the, uh, the just uh, shineth right. more and more into the right. perfect day. Into the perfect day. So yep. the, stronger, the stronger you become, then when they come back and hit back, like you said, you just like, ah. It's like it's like film, bro. You study the film yeah, exactly, all week. Exactly. Then when you see that play coming and you know it's a certain You swallow it whole potent timing is supposed to be on, you know yeah. the time's like, okay, I seen that shit. Yep. I've been watching that all week. Yep. Yep. You know, yep. It's yep. Experience. yep. Yeah, it takes time. Yep. That, that's why Paul Oh oh uh uh the book of Philemon. What the, what what these oh, what yeah. do you call them? He called uh real quick. Uh my bad. It's uh, right here. The book of Philemon. This is the beginning. That's why he says, he says, Paul, a prisoner of Yahweh Shai, and Timothy, our brother, unto Philemon, and dearly beloved, a, and fellow laborer. You know, because you gotta, that's, you gotta labor. That's a part of the labor yeah. and the truth. Yeah. Constantly working on your own demons. That's right. You know, it's a spiritual labor. It, you know, it's not a, a physical labor. More because you know we study, we go into the scriptures. That's a part of the labor, but a part of the, the a heavy doses of the labor is those demons you gotta, you know, yeah. exercise yeah. these yeah. demons. Yeah. Yes. That's why we're going through this. All this armor, it, every this armory pro that the Lord fastened us with is exactly what we need. He gave us just enough, you know, right. to combat all this. See you on not right. Yeah. Read it again because what you. What you just read is going to go, it's going to yeah, cycle yeah, right back into it. Right? Yeah. Go ahead, uh, Verse 15 in Ephesians 6 chapter, it says, And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And there's all types of precepts we can get on faith, man. I mean, the, the, every, every time we do a sit-down, precepts come out on faith. Yeah. You know? And the fiery and darts of the wicked. And the fiery darts of the wicked. Not, not the shield of the law, statutes and commandments. Right, but right. The shield of faith. Yeah, yeah, right. not a shield with fringes on it. Yeah. And, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah it's crazy. Kind of, kind of. Not the fringes of faith. Because right, yeah, the know, shield and, of and, fringes. And it's of like faith. we, over and over through spirit and power, Yahweh Bashmi Hashem, we just keep trying to tell these dudes the law, statutes, and commandments are nothing but the doctrine of life. The doctrine of salvation is faith, man. And that's yeah. why Apostle made a video, the, the the young man who kept the law but didn't have faith the whole time. Right. When it was time to follow you, I was shy. But, uh, yeah. I, I don't know about all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. he kept the laws. Bro, he started crying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> started yeah, crying, bro. Jake well, had his all head that. Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had his head down. Because he was walking with his feet. He's right. hardly a rich man. Yeah. Yeah. He probably had Buku money, bro. Ooh. Okay, and it says, uh, above all, taking on the faith, uh, the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yahweh Shemiah. Shout Straight forward. Uh, which is the word. Yep. That's right. Yep. Okay. Yep. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Yeah, it's the water Yahweh Shemiah Shah put in the spirit. On Apostle Carl, always been going into that. Always been yeah. going into that heavy for the last, I don't know how pray, long now. Pray, yeah. pray, pray. You know, just pray. No yeah. matter what it is, pray over it. Whatever. I don't care what it is, man. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, prayer, when you think about it, prayer is the first act of faith. Yeah. What else, what else is a bigger act of faith than prayer? Speaking to an individual that you can't see, that you can't hear, but you just know what's there. People ask you, how do you know? I just know. I believe, therefore, I've believe. spoken. Prayer is the first act of faith. Yep. So, yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. People pray out in the open too. Yeah. They pray to be seen in men. Yeah. So like brothers were saying about the sincerity aspect, you praying on, uh, you know, in your closet, so to speak. Yeah, in your mind. You know, that's the Lord, Lord sees that. That, 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 that's, that's the fight. The fight is in your mind. Yeah. You know, you, you ain't doing no fighting nowhere else yeah. but in your mind. You're winning and fighting strongholds in your mind. Mm -hmm. You ain't fighting to be seen in men. That fight is in your mind. Bro, yeah. it's, it's always it's constant lots of being casted in the mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. No you know, doubt, no doubt. It's constant it's lots on the day. Every day, every waking moment, bro, is a lot is being casted. Yeah. 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 It's a tug of war. You know? Yeah, yeah. But you, we, we always, through the spirit of Yahweh, Shemar, Shai, 
That's why we got the precepts. There's always a way to figure it out. You know? yeah. 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 The, 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 the word is the sword. Right. You pray and then you read. A lot of times things happen, you don't know how to deal with it. You pray to the most high. And when you read, it takes the spirit takes you to that. Because when we read, it, it's, it's through the spirit. When we open up this, this Bible, it's like, okay, man, today I'm going to read this, this particular verse. And then it happens a lot of times it falls it's like it falls right into what you're going through. Yes, sir. Quick, the most high quick precept. And our brother on the comment board, our GMS North Carolina 24, Shalom, 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 Shalom. Uh, First Thessalonians 5 and 17 through 18. Pray without ceasing. Right. In everything, give thanks. When you give thanks, that's prayer. That's right. For this is the will of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It says, of God in Mashiach, I was shocked concerning you. Right. Concerning you. Concern. Let me read it again. <laughs> Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahushad concerning you. Wow. Concerning you. Let me read that. Uh, that eighteen again. Six and eighteen. It's saying, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance. And supplication for all saints. Yeah, the word supplication means to beg. You know? Why? Because remember this, the, the spiritual wickedness in high places. You begging y'all by Shim Yahweh Shah to, you know, help me out, you know? And preserve the saints. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and which is the elect. You know, you don't you don't also you only pray for yourself, you pray for the elect as well. Um Philippians four and six. Be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto the Most High. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, a lot, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these groups out here, and a lot of these other Israelite groups, they're paid off by Esau. Man. That's right. And one of the things that Esau knows, Esau knows about our scriptures. He knows in the history where it says, "Hey, man, uh, you know, y'all you know, Israelites are not to preach in that name." We you know yeah, in yeah, the accounts yeah. in, the, in the scriptures yeah, where our, yeah. our people, the wicked of our people, yeah. told, hey, you, you guys are not supposed to preach in that name. Yeah. So we making these other Israelite groups say, you know what, teach the people to, uh, to keep the laws, man. Yeah. Just do the laws and not have faith. Yeah. So that's why I'm putting on this, sh this, sh this shield of uh, faith and this armor. We're able to uh, quench the fiery darts of the wicked. That's a fiery dart of the wicked. Yeah. Yeah. But just uh, 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 telling you that it's just the law and not faith. Hey, according, hey, according, according to this man, um, don't you know that uh, keeping the laws right now will get you killed in the ancient world? Yeah. Here it is. This, this, these ain't a hundred percent. This, this ain't uh, all one fabric. Uh, righteousness as filthy rags. Yeah, this is a block. You know what I'm saying? The cotton ain't, a, ain't organic. Yeah, it's you got dude. GMO cotton, bro. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, we got, we got, we got, we got uh, cotton that's been uh, genetically modified, so it's not the right cotton. You know, uh, our garments are mixed fabrics. Right. In the ancient yeah. world, they wouldn't have cared. They was like, what the, what the fuck are you doing with that? You call yourself keeping the law, but it's still breaking the law. Right. So the laws that you that you are keeping, you're still breaking the law with that. And, and you know, the thing is, the thing is, the people that will put you to death were sinners themselves. Oh. Because none worst. of them, the, the, the scripture said, no no Israelite has kept the law 100% in the flesh, but in the house shot. I guarantee that none of them pray. None of them pray. I don't. You pray. might have some of them pray, but they pray to Serapis. No, they pray together. They pray when <laughs> they link up together. Not only to be seen of men. That's, the what, that's how they do it. Yeah, the, uh, remember the scripture says, uh, the prayers of the wicked are an abomination. Mm -hmm. So they so pray, but they, they, the Lord ain't hearing it. <laughs> the Lord ain't hearing it. It, it, didn't, it didn't pierce the clouds. Because when you pray, you, you, you pray and your works is kind of like a sacrifice. Yes. So when you're going out there in the highways and the edges, and you sacrifice those words... And it's not that's in that in the Lord is not getting that sweet savor because you 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 know you botching the doctrine. And when you pray, it's an abomination. The Lord ain't listening to that. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. One more thing. If I can bring this to Ephesians, on Ephesians six and eighteen, the word uh the, the word perseverance, right? The word perse the word perseverance in um uh, in the Greek. When you look it up, it says um. As I said, let me read it again. It's Ephesians 6 and 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplications in the spirit, watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Another word for perseverance uh, was persistency. Yeah, yeah. So so you might pray and it might not happen on in the moment. Keep on praying. 
Just because you prayed five times, right? I prayed five times. Lord still ain't changed the situation. Be persistent in oh, your yeah. prayer. Harass the Lord with prayers, man. Yeah, Long suffering. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. It might take longer than uh, a Sabbath time. You know, it might take longer than seven days. The Lord wants to be harassed with prayers. David was harassing the Lord with a number of prayers and songs. And the Lord loves that, man. Yeah, go ahead. It says, um, I'm going to read 18 again. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. And watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me... The utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Right, and the utterance is to some of that uh, spiritual oracles. Like, you know, when we go in the hours in the edges, our brothers are bold, you know, from opening the camp to end of the camp. Our brothers ain't shaking, you know, brothers just, the scriptures are coming through and uh-huh. we speak, we, we constantly minister and we say we're not to be minister unto so to the spirit and everything that you know. For which I am an ambassador in bonds. Yeah, ambassadors are representatives of someone else. Right. This is bonds. This is Paul. You know, not Muhammad. All right, <laughs> like Muhammad writing a letter to the Ephesians. Ambassador means messenger. Yeah. He's a, a messenger or ambassador in bonds mean uh, he got to do this. I got yeah, to do this. Yeah. 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 And just real quick, the, uh, this portion between 18 and 20 in my scripture says, it says, pray for boldness. Mm-hmm. You know, so so remember he broke down the armor and the wickedness mm-hmm. and everything, but it says at the end of, the, at the end of it, pray for boldness. You know, because you, there is spiritual wickedness in high places. You know? Right. Well, that, that's what shocked Saul. Saul gave David the armor and he was, he was this. Right. I just take the stones, I just take the stones in my sling. Yeah. Right. Yeah, he said it's, basically it wasn't fitting for him, you know. Can you read uh, 20 one more time? Yes, sir. It says, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Yeah, yeah, because you got to add spice in this thing, man. You know, you got you to gotta speak with boldness, man. You know, you got you to gotta believe in what you're saying, you know. You, you say, uh, 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 you're not you're not putting your energy into it. First of all, remember the things that Paul, he said the things that he went through, his bonds, and all, is what, for the for the sake of the brotherhood? Yeah. You know, so... I'm, oh, I'm sorry, I'll go ahead. No, no, all I was going to say was, Salaki, all I was going to say was that, you know, when you're out there speaking, you speak in boldness, you know, and as we speak in now, it's for the edification of the brotherhood. Uh, you know, you're not speaking just to be speaking, I'm speaking so you can hear the words and be uplifted and you can be uh, uh, built in faith. Yeah, the scripture says that we're supposed to compel them that the house may be fulfilled. There you go. You can't be compelling if you're not bold in what you're saying, you know? Right. So you got to have full confidence in everything that you're saying or it's not going to be believable, you know? Right. Uh, I something just at all. Because I looked up boldly on the blue letter. You know, it said some, some things, but when I looked it up in um, Elm Online, it says a uh, uh, bold... It says stout hearted, brave, confident, strong. Stout, you know, when something is when something is stout and strong, you know, yeah. it's you know, it, it really steadfast is another good word for uh, uh it's being stout, you know. Right. So yeah, because it's you know it's just the blow, swell. Yeah, but it's being it's just it's confident, yeah. it's fearless. Yeah. Daring. Yeah. Daring, fearless, and that's why you know when we when we's out there in the house in the edges. I mean, the, the accounts that we have with the, 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 those nigger women, yeah, and they, they were amazed at how bold and fearless we were right. because most men under that spirit of the queen of heaven don't get on them like that. Back down, they back down, you know, because we were taught by our mothers to never argue with a woman, you know. So when they see that we bold and we we tell them what it is according to the scriptures. You can see in their faces like that. These dudes is real. They're different. I did. Yeah. And that's what it's talking about. Yeah, and they came with that old kindergarten comeback. Yeah. You know, it's like a fat baby dick. You know, that's just, just right. simple shit. You know, that's just, just Jake. I got this preset real quick, please. It says, uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. It says, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. There you go. Yeah, knowing the terror of the Lord, we 
persuade men. When you know terror, then you ain't gonna be speaking as if as flowers being passed out. You know? You know, when we speaking about terror of the Lord. Uh, Amen. But we are made manifest unto Yahweh by Shem Yahshah, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness. Come on. Go ahead. That's right. This is uh, verse 21. It says uh, in Ephesians 6. But that you also may be uh, Salah. But that you also may know my affairs and how I do. Tacitus, a beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord shall make known to you all things. No, some things. <laughs> some of the, some, all things, all things, a hundred percent truth. Right. Tychus had a hundred percent truth back then, and he has it right, right. now. Right. Whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose that you might know our affairs, and that he might comfort your hearts. Those affairs is the trials and tribulations. I mean, okay. that's 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 how you know when you read Paul, you read uh, 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 Romans, and all these. You know, what Paul went through, shipwreck and all that. Those were his affairs. You know, the, the, the travels that he made. You know, those are his affairs. And when when it was spoken to the churches, they were comforted. Because some of them were going through stuff. And you know what you said earlier, Bashar. I'm going through hell. And my hell is bigger <laughs> than everybody's hell. Yeah. And then when Ty, uh, uh, what's his brother's name? Ty, 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 Caius. Ty, 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 Caius. When he drops in right. what Paul is going through. You be like, oh man, wow! Like he's going through this, what? and I was just out here yeah. arguing. I just had a problem with my little issue. I'm like, nah, I'm, <laughs> I'll, I'll be all right. In, in the name, you know, about the spirit of fire, all about shall be That's right. That's right. That's right. Fixed. Yes, sir. It says, um, last two verses. Peace be unto unto the brethren, and love with faith from Yahweh, the Father, and the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Grace be with all them that love our Lord Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, in sincerity to all. Amen. Yep, yep, yep. And grace meaning favor. So let it be favor shown unto the men that really love Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. Yep, 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 yep. Sincerity. Yep. Love, 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 love with faith. Love with faith. Right. You know, because, right. you know, sometimes you might bump heads with a brother. You always working towards the possibility that things will be better. Yeah. You know, that's all that that's also this faith in that as well. You're like, you know what, we probably not see eye to eye, but you know what? Things are, we gonna be all right. We're gonna figure this out. The most high is gonna make this happen. You know, it's not always well, we don't see eye to eye, we gotta just go and you know, separate each other. No, it's it's be be more uh, you know, hopeful like the scripture said, you don't believe in the most high, hope for good. You know? Yeah. Hope for good outcome. Positive spiritual out, you know, spiritually yeah. positive outcome. Uh, yes, yeah. and all things work for the uh, benefit of the Lord, That's roughly right. speaking. We're roughly paraphrasing. I got in the footnotes. It says the footnotes are to the Ephesians written from Rome by Tacitus. Tacitus. Uh, so, so Paul was in straits, you know, at that time, you know, and he's writing to the Ephesians, you know, how to be built up. You know, that's the whole the Ephesians. Oh, your office, how to be built up and how to teach with boldness, like I said, and and to be uh, uh, prepared um, through the wiles of the devil that yeah. may come at you. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I can have any closing statement, precepts. <laughs> All right, let's give uh, all praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahusha. All right, the Wadi Yahweh, Hashem, Yahusha, for allowing us to understand this truth and push forth this truth with the power of might that we have, that we're able to. All right, double honors to our elders and apostles, known as Great Millstone in these times. All right, the true men of the Lord coming back in the reincarnation, the true leaders of our people, man. Uh -huh. All right, uh, death to this place, man. Uh, Shalom to the elect out there. And uh, until next time, hey, call all y'all by Shemar Shah. Y'all by Shemar Shah Bakhtam. Y'all by Shemar Shah Bakhtam. Y'all by Shemar Shah Bakhtam. Shalom. 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 Sh